Hey everyone, I wanted to go over the new and exciting news that we got for Mario Strikers Battle League, which is set to release onto the Nintendo Switch exclusively on June 10th. And thanks to Nintendo finally dropping an overview trailer video, which of course I'm going to leave a link in the description below for you guys to check out yourselves if you so desire. However, do keep in mind that it's all in Japanese. We finally have the confirmation of the final roster of characters that is going to be coming available into this game on day one. This is presumably, of course, could potentially change if they decide to add post-launch characters as in like additional characters being added in after the game launches which they haven't necessarily confirmed as of yet but potentially it seems to be like we're only going to be able to get 10 playable characters on day one those include mario luigi bowser peach rosalina toad yoshi donkey kong wario and of course waluigi now, if you're asking yourself, well, 10 characters doesn't necessarily seem like a lot, or can they even justify that when even the tennis and even golf games as of recently had a much bigger roster? And the truth of the matter is, it seems to be because basically each one of these characters is not only going to have like their very own specific stats, but they're also going to have their very own armors attached to them. So one of the things that they showcase in the overview trailer, which you should be seeing on the screen right now, is the fact that they go ahead and showcase how each one of the armor sets, which each one of the characters are going to have a different type of armor set. And we know this based off of kind of like the little gameplay clips that they attach to this overview trailer. We know that each one of these armor sets are going to give each one of the characters a little bit of a different set of stats. So presumably, if your character has a different armor set than another one, they might look a little bit similar. But at the end of the day, their attached skills and stats are going to be a little bit different. So maybe that is ultimately the reasoning why the character roster seems a little bit sparse and rather limited, to be quite honest. But it seems to be all basically tied to the fact that there's a handful of armor sets for each one of the characters and the armor sets each one of them has stats therefore each character has a different set of stats they don't necessarily want to overwhelm people with different stats or too many armor sets or maybe even too many characters or combinations thereof therefore they are kind of limiting the roster Again, they could end up adding more as via DLC, but for right now, it seems to be like we're just going to get 10 on day one. Now, when it comes specifically to those stats that I just mentioned before, they do showcase that like each one of those stats covers like a specific different base. So, for example, they showcase that one of the stats is kind of like the brawler stats. So basically your character, whenever you tackle another character, it'll be able to tackle them a little bit further away or with much force. They have another one that's for like stat for passing. So the higher stats you have for passing, the better you're going to be able to do that. Another one is for shooting. The higher your stat it is for shooting, the ball is going to go a little bit faster. Another one of the stats is for defense. So that means that whenever you get tackled as opposed to tackling, uh, your character will go off flying less than they would have if they have lower defense stats and stuff like that. Ultimately, there's five different stats and all of the armor sets kind of cover one specific one of those stats. They try to max them out. So the idea here would be that you have a character playing defense with higher defense and maybe higher agility. So they could get to the ball fast and then if they get tackled they don't really put themselves out of a bad situation for too long and if you have a dedicated striker you're always going to get that character the ball so whenever they're going to shoot and you use one of those hyper strikes which is something that they go over in the trailer whenever they do one of those finishers they're almost going to always guaranteed have a goal so that is kind of like the strategy that they seem to be pushing for each one of these stats and armor sets and specifically for one of the characters they also very quickly went ahead and showcased there's, of course, 4v4, um, basically battles. Uh, the soccer matches are 4v4. The goalies will be CPU controlled. This is something that they casually mentioned. You're not going to basically be able to play a goalie. You can only play defense. Two midfielders and one forward. That seems to be the only setup that they have set up. One, two, and one. If you're like a soccer player, you know that like 4-4-2 four, four, is kind of like a formation that they have or or 4-3-3, three, three, that kind of a thing. It seems to be 1-2-1, one, one, so that's how it's set up in that regard. And they also mentioned, of course, you have the basics, like when you're on offense, you can pass. You can use items to kind of like diverge characters, uh, like attention or like throw them off with like a green shell, a banana, that type of thing. Uh, and then, of course, you can shoot as well. But if you're playing defensively, they mentioned that, of course, you can tackle a character. Therefore, you can kind of put them out 
take the ball away, that kind of a thing. Or you can do this really interesting thing where you can push another character forward. And it seems like offense can also do this in certain occasions. You can push a character forward to kind of like maybe get a boost of speed, get ahead of a situation. So if they're like running back to defend, you can kind of push them back into defense and they'll be able to be in a better situation. Or if you're running forward with the ball, you can kind of push and tackle your very own player forward so they can kind of like not get caught up by the def defense rather quickly. So it's one of those strategic things that whenever you're playing and like with other people, you're going to have to keep in mind that, you know, you have the option to not just necessarily tackle them or take the ball away, but you can actually use one of your own characters to kind of push them out of the way as well. So that is something specifically when it comes to strategy uh, that you're going to want to keep in mind as well. Another thing they showcased was a handful of arenas as well. They didn't necessarily mention as to how many arenas there are going to be. But just looking at the very quick glance of the trailer, we do get to see at the very least five different arenas there uh, showcased. Each one's different backgrounds, different stands. Even the like uh, grounds in the arena themselves, the colors kind of change. And we also see the, like, the sidelines maybe are also having different effects you kind of see uh luigi get tackled into the boards and in one of them he's kind of set on fire and another one he's kind of getting electrocuted kind of a thing so it seems to be like depending on whichever half of the like pitch you are located in if you get sent to the like the walls or whatever to the sidelines uh, you're gonna get a different effect in that regard whether that actually plays into a strategic like hey maybe you're better off you know sending them to a wall with electricity where they're just gonna be you know paralyzed for a little bit longer than being set on fire but you know still being slowed down you know that remains to be seen but as of right now it seems to be like you know that is like a strategic thing you're also gonna want to keep in mind on the back end of the video, they also showcase some of the league uh, portion situation that you're going to have where you're going to have the option to basically set up a league. They are really touting this idea that you're going to be able to play online with others. You can make your own kind of like soccer league, uh, kind of like FIFA does this already, where you can play with strangers online, set up your own like team and then play with strangers online and like have like a ranking and standings and all that kind of things. Um, I don't necessarily know how it's going to work since Nintendo Switch Online is, you know, very hit or miss. So, you know, I wouldn't necessarily buy this game just because of the so-called online, you know, features that they're offering. But it is something interesting that Nintendo is finally starting to consider adding some more online focused features that previous games in this franchise or many franchises when it comes to Nintendo did not necessarily have. But that's about all the information that I wanted to go over with you guys today. Again, 10 characters seems to be what we're going to be getting on day one. And unless they actually change that going forward, it seems to be like this is all we're going to get. If you're brand new to my channel, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Hit the bell to receive notifications when the videos go up. But as always, thank you so much for watching. See ya.